and none because I couldn't work with uh, kids all day and go home and be great with my kids. Yeah. It was too late to be a nun, so I had to stop being a teacher. <laughs> I'm told it's never too late to be a nun. Oh, really? Okay, well, you never know. <laughs> Do you also sell products? Yes. Uh, um, there's an idea being floated out there today um, in New Jersey that we reduce the sales tax mm. by half for the upcoming holiday season. Is it true that Campbell's soup stock, did the fellow that spoke at your church say, is it true that Campbell's soup stock goes up when the economy goes down? Well, a, a little I bit. I read that. Yeah, yeah. That's and he also funny. said that since he's taken over and there's been a, cult, a culture of nurturing and appreciating the employees because you can't market Campbell's soup unless, you know, really your employees think that you're honest, your colleagues right. think you can't mm -hmm. be well, one person it's here and one person there. So, yeah. yes, to answer your question. Well, Leanna, what's the thing you worry about the most as it relates to life? It's, it's health. health. You can't do very much if you don't have a few fingers and a few toes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you worry about your health, your husband's yeah, health, absolutely. your family's Kids health. and health. Right. Yes, the whole money and how do you act that out? What do you do around it? Well, it's positive thinking. I do uh -huh. have a trainer because Good. I'm one of these people that does not like to exercise or do not like to walk around the block. Uh huh. That's a bad attitude to have. So uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're working on it. There are always new things to learn and improve. You know, you only have to do the ten minute walk. Do you know the ten minute walk? Ten minutes out, yeah, ten minutes back. That's what they say gives you heart health. Double it. Add ten more minutes, and it doubles it. Hmm, see, there you go. Yeah. It's really easy. Ten minutes. There you go. Because you have to go back. <laughs> Once you get 10 minutes out, you just can't stay there. That's what I try to do. That's what I say to myself sometimes. Okay, Tina, come on, you can do 10 minutes. And then, of course, you're stranded. So you yeah. go back. Janice, what do you worry about the most? Tank for my daughter's college. Yeah. You know, we looked at, we just got our statement because we do the education account. Oh, don't look at the statements today. You know, and I, and I, first, I opened don't, it. Don't no. go there. I opened it, and I'm like, oh, it wasn't that bad. And then my husband looks and he goes, that was for September Yeah, 30th. exactly. Oh. Right. But, you know, it's... It's making sure that she can stay in college. You know, she came home this past weekend for a four-day weekend, and you know, she sat down with us on Friday. And my daughter, who's always been, you know, about what just about the moment. You know, whatever's happening at the moment is what's important. And all of a sudden, she's like, you know, I need to talk to you and Steve. And I'm like, why? Uh -huh. You know, I was waiting for this like awful conversation. She's like, you know, I'll come back and I'll go to Raritan Valley for mm -hmm. two years if that would make things easier, mm -hmm. so that you know, and then I'll go to, to finish up a four-year. Mm. Casey Crabell, the president of Rand Valley, was just on this show, and that's exactly what people are doing. It is. Their numbers are up to like 7,000. Pat Donahue just told me she was just here too. Their numbers are up to nine. That's exactly what's going on. Mm. But I think what really impressed me was the fact that she was acknowledging. Sure. You know, she was paying attention. This is a child who didn't care about anything. She still doesn't balance the checkbook. Right. But she's paying she's attention. Supposed to balance the checkbook. So she oh, eating me. fewer <laughs> meals out. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's finally stopped eating meals out because I stopped putting money in her account. <laughs> and she's using her meal plan. But, you know, she's really thinking about it. And she's saying, you know what, I can do two years and then go on to my, you know, finish four year. And mm -hmm. we're like, you know what, we're okay right now. Let, let's get through this year and see what happens next year. But the fact that she's conscious of it says a lot because mm -hmm. here she is. She's an 18-year-old kid. You know, I'm going to worry about it because obviously I'm the mother. But yeah, but it's I, scary because it's unpredictable. It is. And we're all afraid of that, which is unpredictable. And then I have two more still yet. Yeah, but life is What's always unpredictable. Yes, always you know, li will be. Life is always unpredictable, but we can make a choice to make it more predictable by choosing how we respond to things. Mm -hmm. However, this is pretty unpredictable, okay? More unpredictable than it was unpredictable, at least <laughs> to the masses, right. a few months ago, right? I think it's going to continue Our to be unpredictable, though. Yeah, I, we've I got a couple too. more weeks of this. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and right. I think what's what's truly stressful about it is that is it a couple more weeks is it a couple of more months is it a couple of days you know there's this right. un there's just this lack the of light the or uncertainty years. Or, or years or decades yeah. um, or have we handed our which children is, a huge bill yeah well which just is, one thing to take a look at i happen to be looking at the some reports this morning and the dow peaked october 9th of 2007 at 14,000. Mm -hmm. october 10th of 2008 it was down to 83. Yeah in one year's time frame mm -hmm. just to see the volatility of yeah. it. You know, right, and to remember that if you're paying attention to the Dow and it matters to you because you have money there, mm -hmm. count yourself lucky. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. What, what scares <laughs> you the most? I'm just a little lucky. But yeah, no. I know okay. what I'm saying. Um, you know, yeah, there are people no, no, out no, there no, trying to put food on the table. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, my worry is, you, you know, my son's two. What in the world is college going to cost? And I've got it pretty good. Right. You know, so right. how in the, uh, you know, it's really hard to come down. They, wrap they really your mind around it. 
Oh, it's not going to well, be Well, I'm sure it would be great, right, if it oh, came down the much, next 12 months. I much mean, appreciated. It's, re it's really a big issue. But And then and I've got to get there, right? So I've got preschool on the horizon. Yes. Well, that's I've expensive. got caregiver that I pay right. for. We right. have also an extended family yes. um, compound that we share with my in-laws. And everything seems to have just ticked up. You know, it's exactly. just there's yes. a financial burden going on right now that... Um, I don't think anyone foresaw, or, or at least no one shouted it from the rooftops loud enough, and right. um, it's worrisome. Right. So, but, so the effort is to not be reactionary. Right. The effort, effort is to be more methodical, calm mm -hmm. down, stay patient, and create a plan that's going to work for my family. And the material things are not everything in life. It's interesting that's to that's me. That's a that, great point. You know, point. the weather, we've had a wonderful fall this year. The, the yeah. trees are just beautiful and I had somebody when you say that me. you know <laughs> when you say that you know where I go I think of this joke I read that I got a telegram from my mother it said start worrying details to follow <laughs> it's like you I look at fall and then, and then I think it's normal to think how are you gonna pay the heating bill I mean mm -hmm. so what you can we can look at that but I think there are people really worrying about that we may be those people worrying about that by the time the, the winter gets here. But when you look at his future, though, I think Leanna makes a great point that there's a lot in life. In fact, our next show, I think we'll talk about this even more, that's very valuable that isn't about money. Well, we've made a conscious decision with my son to opt out of the power path of preschool mm -hmm. for the next year. He just turned two in July. Um, and we've decided to continue with a caregiver in our home and mm -hmm. do some programs here mm -hmm. in Princeton and some programs in New York City that will keep him interested. Right. But I'll tell you, we've spent a lot of time on the playground in sure. the last so two years, yeah. and our intention is to spend a lot more in the next yeah. year right. and exactly. beyond. Because and there's you, something really simple right. and just fantastic Fun. about right. it. Allow a kid to be a kid. Yeah. And you were talking about your little extended family compound. I just read an article that said, the percentage of extended family homes since not, since the year 2000 has gone up 47%. Yeah, now, bet. my daughter, who really does understand statistics, will tell me, because it's partly demographic, there's so many more people who are boomers, you know, who may well be living with their kids. But in sheer numbers, it's gone up 47%. And I think that that's enriching. And it's one of the things we can talk about. That's, mm. you know, not always about money. For us, it's about having great life from my husband, being able to support my daughter who's so busy, having her support me because I'm so busy, and you know, there's a lot to get out <laughs> of that. When you see some of the goofs that these teenagers make, I mean, my, my <laughs> grandson was so spaced out that he allowed his passport to stay in his pocket, and it went through the wash. Well, you know, that's something I might have done, or you, but it's nice to know, you know, gee, when you're a teenager, you can still do goofy things, too. <laughs> well, yes, well, I'm sure we've all been goofballs, and I try to actually live up to that model. <laughs> almost every day. So thank you everybody for tuning in for Wisdom and Beyond. We'll see you soon and go have fun.